Hey everybody, and welcome back to RimWorld. Yes, RimWorld. After almost a two-month pause for various reasons, um, we're getting back into the game. Hello, music. And I'm trying to familiar, familiarize myself with what the heck we were doing at the time, because obviously it's been uh, quite a while. As I said, it's been almost two months. So we have a low food situation. Our storage is just like all kinds of fricked up so what i think we probably want to do is work on that and work on the food so potentially we could wall in here and dig this area out um we could also like wall this in and then put a door over here and this area could basically be usable all you know pretty quickly i think we still have the ability to build over there let's see uh structure You'll have to bear with me because I probably will forget a lot of where things are and what we're doing. Um, but yeah, we can still build here. We can't build beyond this line, but we can still build here. That might be a good idea. Alright. Um, let's check out the food situation. Remind myself where we're going with there. Um, why is that caribou? Oh, did we... Uh, we saved the game at a manhunting caribou. Okay, um, what are our people? If people are allowed, or squirrels allowed to go to the home zone, uh, people are allowed to go where? Unrestricted, alright, so, eventually that caribou might try to find its way in here. Poor Dolly and her real slow walking here. I guess she's just just leisurely walking. This uh, horseshoe pin out here by the rocks and the death. Where is that caribou now? <laughs> caribou? Where are you? Wildlife. Wildlife. Okay, there it is. It must be coming closer. Where is it? Not that one. That one. Okay, so it must... No... I thought it was coming for us. It's not coming for us. It's getting real confused because it doesn't know how to get to us, I think. It should know to come around this way. Does it know that this door exists? And that's why it keeps running back over here? I'm not sure why it doesn't come around and go through the open path, which is the traps. But anyways, while that's over there, probably we won't set up the building for that. Um, let's, let's set up the build orders for this wall over the top. What kind of wall do we want? Probably a pretty pretty good wall that's gonna withstand attacks because that's like right on top of our base. What kind of stuff do we have? Any slate blocks? Granite blocks? Alright, yeah, let's go for maybe some granite blocks. Again, sorry, I'm a little rusty about where things are. Let's set up a granite wall here. And hopefully we don't build, we don't go inside to build it. We can build it from the outside. Now that is going to let the caribou know where we are because we have to go outside of our walls to get there. But we'll keep an eye on him. It would be nice if he died and was usable meat because we need usable meat. And I forget what we have people prioritize to. Whatever. We'll figure it out as we go. Oh yeah, fur is over here like constantly working on this tree. That caribou just doesn't know what it's doing. Jason is up there working on the wall. So it should be coming over here, that caribou. No, it's not. Why isn't it coming this direction? Oh, sun is going to... Sun, 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 sun. No, 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 sun. Um, do anything else but that, please? 
Son, um, disallow that, son. Disallow that, son. No. Please just, like, stop. Yeah. Do something else. Okay, what was that? Why was there such a... It felt like there was a fight there. We'll re-allow that in a minute. Um, no one got locked in, right? Yeah, no one got locked in. That's great. So, um... We'll mine out this slate. And uh, probably set the rest of that to be mined out as well. And, um... You know what? That can remain that. There's no reason to break into that and and make it more uh, more right angles. It can be that way. Eventually that, uh, Grace, what are you doing, Grace? Um, you know what? You know what, guys? Like, if you want to, like, deal with this garbage, like, just don't. Like, uh, okay, so let's deal with area two. Let's, uh, let's set you all to area two. Now that this thing is gone, we don't have to worry about that, and let's manage the areas. Area two. Uh, zone. Expand. Expand allowed areas for area two. So, okay, all right. Excuse me, cat. Stop clicking the mouse with your tail. Appreciate that. You guys can go over here. You can't go over here anymore to where the mad caribou is. We'll deal with him later, okay? Just don't go over there with the caribou for any reason. Don't go clean that blood. Don't just stay away. Stay out of this general area. I know it's just a caribou and we could go hunt it and kill it, but you know what, Grace, go do something else. Now they did change the game while we were gone where they made it uh, easier, an affair. They made it easier for one colony to have multiple ideologies so that people could they can do their own rituals and things. And we might have talked about it before. I don't know. Uh, Gilmore flirted with Dolly by talking about his own grandparents. Um, I don't know how you flirt with your... I'm talking about your grandparents, but sure, okay. Dolly became aroused and agreed to become Gilmore's lover. Gilmore, married to Grace, has begun an, aff has begun an affair with Dolly. This is not going to go well, Gilmore. But... Um, not do that oh is it done it's done being uh, mad okay well since it's done being mad we can set everybody back to unrestricted I suppose and uh, since we have the low food and apparently we just finished microelectronics that has nothing to do with it but we will go set some people to hunt uh, let's go for geothermal power no there was a reason why we were going for for microelectronics. We were going this for a reason. And I don't know what it was. Was it uh, auto cannons? Was it multi barrel weapons? I don't know where we were going with this. Hospital bed, deep drilling, precision rifling, multi barrel weapons, compact weaponry. I don't see... I, maybe we were just going this direction because of the uh, the big bad over there, the mech hive, and we were trying to get to, like, auto cannons, better turrets and stuff. Let's go... Let's go back. Let's go back and grab geothermal power. Because we have this here. We could... We could grab this vent. And it will help out with our... 
or pour two batteries. And let's hunt some animals. So let's go for this ram and this ram. Now we have some Arctic wolves. And uh, I could try to tame them, but we're not. We're not going to do that. Let's hunt this uh, turkey. I want to leave a little bit of uh, a little bit of food out there for the wolves and the warg to attack so they're not attacking us. And just get that off of there. Doing great job, guys. Awesome. All right. Um, let's set up a door over there. Maybe just a maybe just a wooden door. We have we have wood. Okay. Yes, I am pausing because I've been so long. I'm not really sure what we're doing anymore. And, um, you know what? Do we need this? I already, I know I said we won't break this down this wall, but do we need to break down this wall and just have it one big area? That would give us plenty of storage space so we can get rid of this we can get rid of this um we can move that all up here and that would leave this open area down here for other uses and we wouldn't they, if they needed something over here and something over here they wouldn't have to go around so sure let's um let's mine that out that's fine there's enough room that the uh the walls themselves won't be a problem. And what I mean by that is I don't know what I mean by that. I mean that the, the walls will prevent the ceiling from collapsing in. That's what I mean by that. Get rid of these chunks. And what we need is more, uh, more dumping zone, actually. We can grab that stockpile zone and just expand it. There we go. Big old stockpile zone. And take this one and uh, delete you. And take this one. And uh, I thought I said delete you. Delete you. All right. Oh, we did bring back the ram. Added apparel. All right, Dolly, what do you need? Uh, some pants. Can we make a pair of pants, please, for our good friend Dolly? Make pants, please. Also, sure, make that parka that uh, is just half finished. How's our, uh, how's our prisoner doing over here? We're trying to convert them. Alright. We're going to speed it up during nighttime. And let's set our... Again, what do we have for walls? Slate blocks? Dull looking rock the chips easily? Granite blocks. I think we probably do want granite through here if it's going to be defensive, so. Just do it like that. And please don't get yourself locked in. You're going to get yourself locked in. Hey, we made some pants. Dolly can 
be closed now. Oh yeah, you're definitely gonna well wall yourself in when you break that down. Oh no, you're not. All right, good job. Oh, you did wall in those uh those caribou though. So sorry, caribou. Let's actually knock out this smooth granite wall, and then we will put a door in there. And uh, we'll hunt these caribou since they're in our way. We could try to tame them, but is there any point? It's a female. It's a female. We could get milk out of them. Pretty sure you can milk a caribou. I don't know if you can or not. No, oh, caribou can be milk, but refuse to carry packs. Okay. They are... What kind of trainability? Trainability, none. <laughs> okay. All right, well, you know what? They're dead then. They're dead to us. It's bleeding all over our floors. Well, sorry guys. Appreciate you joining the colony for a brief second. Squirrel one. Squirrel one. Squirrel one. Are you supposed to be out there, Squirrel one? Get back in here, Squirrel one. What are you doing, Squirrel one? What made you think you could go out that way? Ah, because that counts as home now. Ah, I see. You were trying to get to that area, but you couldn't, maybe. Well, let's take back. Let's slow down the game a little bit. Let's expand uh, home area. This this is now home. And I guess that can be home as well. What else is, uh, is home that maybe shouldn't be home? Or should be? Anything that we've tagged... Accidentally? No? Alright. This can be home, this can be home, uh, that can be home. That little bit right there can be home as well. And this. Alright, congratulations. Oh, no, and that. We have now have a larger home, technically. Grace, thanks for cleaning up. Appreciate that. Chef, thanks for hauling, bud. Getting all this out of here and move it over here so we can make this uh, something else. Maybe another large bedroom. Don't know what we're going to do with this whole area, but let's put a door in it. We set up to... Yeah, cream my corpses forever. Good. All right. Food situation is okay. Corn is coming in. Well, not coming in. It's growing. Dolly is idle. Why are you idle, Dolly? What do you What do you do? Not much. You can't craft, or you can't haul. You can't clean. We're not doing any tailoring. So I don't want to set you to that. You're just a miner, a hunter, and a cook, and that's it. Well, I mean, I could set you to do some other things, but you'll just screw up the, the smithing and the tailoring. But I'm not... No one else is tailoring, so you know what? Even though you have a skill of two at it, Dolly. Um, become a three. Just waste all our materials doing it, I suppose. Get to it, Dolly. No, now you're going to rest. You're not actually going to do the things I wanted you to do. Of course not. Grace? Doing good work in here. Good job. Keep it up. I don't know what we're going to use this area for, but surely we can find uh, something to do. Now, with our research, 
We can make a high-tech research bench. We can make a comm console. We can make an auto bong, but we're not doing that. Um, orbital trade beacon might be nice. I think we should make the comms console and maybe a research bench. Get it out of, maybe we make a research area. Get it out of this just big room. So what do we do with this area once we clear that out? I don't know. Well, for now, let's just even this area up again. I mentioned earlier that the walls, the previous walls we talked about should stop uh should stop the caves from or this whole area from collapsing in this is a little dangerous it feels like but maybe it's not we'll find out i really wish the game would maybe prompt you if you're going to do that because i don't want to have to spend the time to say okay how many i don't have to look it up how far away a wall can be you know what maybe it does now maybe it just auto builds columns. I doubt it, but I could be wrong. It, again, has been forever since we played. I don't want to have to remember you can go X far away from the walls and none of that. Don't make me think and do math and count, okay? Probably not gonna have enough room to put all these these chunks, are we? Uh, another pod sprout. All right, let's let's make that more dumping zone. And get these chunks out of here. Boredom. Oh. Gay on the psychic has boredom. Currently unavailable recreation types for Gayon. Solitary relaxation, social interaction, dexterity play, horseshoe pin, and cerebral play, play chess table. Um, there is a chess table. There is a horseshoe pin. So I don't know what you're on about, man. Dexterity play. Dexterity play. Okay, so I could build a billiard table. I don't have the cloth to do that, though. I mean, man, Gayon, I guess you're just gonna have to be bored, dude. Because there are things for you to do, but I guess you're... You've done them recently, and you don't, you don't want to? Recreation deprived. We need more variety. Recreation 13%. My current expectations, each tolerance falls, blah, 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 blah. Yakety schmackety. You know what, dude? Just, like, go hang out with your friends and stuff. Have friends. Talk to people. Stop being a bored sap. You know, wander around. Look at things. Your your schedule is wide open. You could do whatever you want, my man. Oh, you're done now. You're not bored anymore? I don't know what you did. But apparently you did something to uh to amuse yourself. Uh, low food again. Should have paid attention to that, uh, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's grab all these elk. I guess they won't hunt me.
Remember what I used to do about like not killing off the last ones and try to maintain a balance between uh, about between the sexes, the male and the females. Nah, let's not even worry about that anymore. Let's just hunt them all. It was fun for game or for roleplay reasons, but uh, for food situation, they just all have to die. I thought this was going to be uh, good enough, but we're not going to be able to fit everything in this zone. Quite uh, surprised by that. Filling up fast. Maybe I should have left that stockpile zone over there. Yeah, I think we're out of room. Okay, so you know what? Um, let's put it back. Let's put the stockpile zone back. You know what? We're just going to put it right here. We're going to grab this zone. Can I please copy your settings? I would like to paste your settings over here, but make you please a uh, low preference. Only put things over there if you absolutely have to put things over there. Which you do now because it's completely full. And I don't care about this sprout. I mean, it's over there, who cares? We're not doing much with the sprouts, honestly. Other than fur over here, like it's taking her entire day. Five hours a day to maintain. We were turning our dryads into, uh, into berries, weren't they? Yes. Turning wood making into berry making. Jason, now you're idle, my dude. I mean, there's things you could do. You could be tailoring. Do we not have the... Do we not have the materials for those things? Make the barca? Oh, you can't because fur has already worked on it. And fur needs to do it. Fur. Um, what is your, your deal is research? So I really don't want to keep you from that. Alright, so this area is opened up now. Let's go ahead and probably smooth out some walls. I know they can't get to that corner. But we'll be able to run some cables through there. And let's set up an area. So... We have a whole bunch of... We have a whole bunch of slate blocks. Rust expires in 24 hours. Yeah, I'm not fighting... Breachers and hunters and archers. No, thank you. Set up some slate walls. So, this can be our entrance way. Which means this... I want to do that. Yeah, it feels kind of awkward. Like, I, I almost want a space here. Just so that's not so cramped. I don't think that really does anything, but let's do that. Let's get rid of these chunks, please. And maybe we can set up an area over here. You know, you can make a you can make a slate door as well, I guess. You know what? No, no, no. We wooden door. Wooden door is fine. Actually, now that we don't have the wooden dryads anymore, maybe a slate door is better. 
and it's impossible to have it evened up. So if we're super not going to have it even, let's put it over here. So they can come through this door and then immediately go over here. Now we could make... real small room over here if we wanted to for something. I don't know what we would want. But we could do that. We could actually... Let's not do that. Let's actually cancel that. Let's set up a granite wall over here. That way we can span this area. Maybe this can be a hallway into here. Rainy thunderstorm. Well, we haven't done much this episode, and played for half an hour now, so we will surely be ending it soon. I probably, I really should have set up a door here. Something just died. I should have set up a door. Yeah, let's do that. Let's actually change this to a wooden door. Right here. I should have done a slight door. But I wasn't thinking. Oh well. It's just a door. I know I said this shouldn't be a wooden door because we didn't have a wood and then I just made that same change. Um, you know what? We could actually change that. They're not, they haven't built it yet. Cancel. Slight door. It wasn't really a duplicate for blueprint. Thank you very much. Because it was different materials, but okay. Once you get that filled in, I can mine out this area. That won't be a breach into our zone. All of our colonists are idle. So many idle colonists. There we go. Alright, so, yep. Please get rid of these now. Thank you. Dolly tried to convert Grace. How long is my man over here going to take to convince he uh, still has quite a bit of belief in his old ways mad caribou alright they're all coming um you know what? We should probably stay inside. If we could, please. Mad caribou. Animals, please come to uh, area one. We can, we can expand area one. Let's do that. Area one can now come out here. Area one can now come out here and over here and over here. Area 1 has gotten much larger now. Yeah, I think that's fine. There's no outside zones that I can see that might cause an issue. And now... I would love to put our people in Area 1, too. Or should I set them up? These guys are going to rampage. How many is it? Oh, just three? That's fine. I think we're fine. Our people... You know what? Let's have our people get ready. We'll, we'll fight them over here. In the rain, I guess. Well... I want these guys to turn around first. Because there's no reason for us to go stand in the rain if they're just going to hang out over here. 
Wasn't there three of them? Where did the other one go? Oh, they were just bunched up. Okay. Well, you know what? If you guys want to just do that in the rain and just hang out, maybe our people can take a nap. As long as they don't go outside of our borders and entice these fools. I did say we were going to end the episode eventually, but probably should deal with these mad caribou first. Maybe they'll go to sleep and get over it. I should put a... So this area is dark. I need to put a... Where do we want to put this little uh, light alcove? I could put it here and kind of just cover it up. Or put it here and our people could just have to wander around it, but... Not really what I'm into. Why would we want to do it this this way though? But um, sure, whatever. Let's um, let's just put it right here. Actually, put it right here. Let's mine this area out, and I'll shove a lamp over there, like this one over here. Like, what is this? This is such jank. I have this here and this here. That's janky. And let's put our slate door here. Where are those mad caribou? They're still just milling about down there. This whole area is also pretty dark, but it's a, impossible to fit in an extra lamp over here. Without ruining some people's bedrooms. Or just having them have to walk over the lamp and who wants that? There's absolutely no point to have this smooth granite here. Unless I was planning to put a door in. Probably just overthought or oversight. I could put one here and then put a wall there and then put a door there. All right, caribou, do your thing. Yay on, sure. Did you say inspired taming? Hold on, did you say inspired taming? How did I find this out? I've already, uh, I have, I have, but oh, there you go. Inspired Taming. I say I dismissed it. Inspired Taming Inspire, expires in eight days. Well, what's your taming ability? Because if you could tame... Your animal's five. I should have read that better. Can I bring it back? We're going to bring back the log messages. Inspired taming. All right. She will successfully tame the next animal regardless of difficulty. Well, you know, we do have some creatures out there which we could grab, like some arctic wolves or some timber wolves, and they have trainability. There's also the warg, but we have to feed them meat all the time. I think arctic wolves and timber wolves can be... Yeah, raw meat, corpses, meals, processed foods, kibbles. Okay. I don't think wargs can eat that, but let's check out the wargs. Raw meat and corpses. Yeah, so they can't eat kibble or processed food. They're just not that good. 
So we have an Arctic Wolf. It has advanced train ability. So worth 350 bucks. Three point six melee damage. Not really what I care about, but it's also five years old. These timber wolves, seven and seven. Advanced train ability, three point six. So I guess there's not any difference between the timber wolf and the Arctic wolf, maybe, other than color. Let's go for the Arctic Wolf, please. And let's tame you. And, um... Let's make sure no one else but... Gaon? Inspire taming, yes. I want Gaon to be my only handler, please. I'm gonna have to. Two, two, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? We'll figure that out later. I'll put those back. Just something later. Gayon, you're my only handler. And for right now, I want you to be handling level one. I want you to go out there and do that. And I do need to extend this episode probably so that I don't forget to undo that so what I ideally want to do is get her to uh, go tame and then immediately we can set everyone's uh, preferences back or their work stuff back and then we can end the episode but if I don't and I just and the episode here, I'm going to completely forget. Okay, these guys are going to sleep, so... They're going to stop being maddened soon. Just one left. Hey, it almost found the door. Okay, Gaon's going to do converting. You are my handler. Why aren't you handling? Why did you go to Warden first? Alright. The Arctic Wolf is still there, Gaon. Taking simple meal to inventory. Smoothing wall. No, Gaon. Like, go deal with the wolf, my friend. Are you going to tell me, like, oh, I can't because my religion forbids it? Needs eight. I thought you said that you could do it regardless of difficulty. You lied to me, game. You absolutely lied to me about what that means. She will successfully tame the next animal regardless of difficulty. So she can't try, but if she could try, she would succeed. And that is just, um, can I just say dumb? But whatever. Let's so it set everyone back and then we'll end the episode. So, um, Gilmore, you're pretty great at handling. You should be level one. Fur, you can be two. Chef, you can be two. Gayon, you can be three. Jason, you can be three. How about that? Alright, so I guess now is a good time to end the episode. We do have this one angry caribou out here that might cause troubles at the beginning of next episode, but hopefully not. 
And I don't know why they just don't go through the traps. Are they too smart for the traps now? Because they haven't seen us? They have to actually have visible sight of us? I didn't think that was always the case, but... For now, thanks for joining me on this return to RimWorld. Uh, if I already forgot what my tagline is, <laughs> thanks for joining me. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again next time. There it is. It took a little bit. All right. See ya.